Greetings, today I am going to be giving you a swift tutorial on how to play with other players in Elden Ring. There are a number of multiplayer items in the game. Most of them are very easy to acquire, and some of them are just given to you early on. It is heavily recommended that you speak to all the NPCs at the round table and so on uh, to acquire some of these items. The first item that we will talk about is the Tarnished Furled Finger. It creates a summon sign for cooperative multiplayer. You can place your sign mostly anywhere in the world, but your chances to be summoned are higher if you put them by boss fights, sites of grace, or summoning pools. Summoning pools are these little statue thingies that you have to interact with to activate them. Uh, the way you put down your sign at it, you can just write down your sign at it, or use the small golden effigy to send your sign to the nearest active summoning pool. To play with specific players though, you have to insert a password under your multiplayer settings. If you set a multiplayer password though, you'll only be matched with other players using the same password for most multiplayer features. However, multiplayer passwords do not apply to invasion or support multiplayer. Sim to nullify this, simply just remove the password. For example, if I put GGG, I will only see people using the GGG, but if I remove it, I will see everybody. Now, this is not the case with group passwords. Group passwords don't limit you from seeing other people's summon signs, but they show you other people's messages, bloodstains, summon signs, and so on using these uh, the, the same multiplayer passwords. So if you set a group password, you'll be more likely to see messages, summon signs, bloodstains, phantoms, and so on from other using, others using the same passwords. Elements given this special priority will appear differently from others. So, for example, this is a regular message that someone that doesn't have the same passwords as me uh, put down. But then if we look further, we can see a blood thing here with runes around it. That means uh, someone from my second password, as you can see, has this second symbol on it, the two, uh, died here. And uh, same goes to this one. Uh, so that's how you differentiate differentiate. Uh, Th those things from the others. I'm currently using these passwords if you wish to have a higher chance of reading my messages or seeing my summon signs. Uh, I, I mainly uh, use the Seekers one because this is one from a very big community of uh, helpers so I recommend you put at least this one but you have five to choose from so why not just inserting these three. Uh, Neon is my specific one, so if you're my subscriber or my viewer, or if you want to see my messages or my summon signs, feel free to see, to put Neon. Lastly, let's talk about how to abandon a multiplayer session. Let's say you got summoned by the wrong person, or you simply just have to go, or you didn't mean to summon a certain person. So just simply go into your inventory, or equip it, uh, the item called Finger Severer. It just sends or oneself home, so it just completely cancels a multiplayer session. This does not apply to uh, invasions. If you're invaded, you have to defeat the invader. You cannot abandon. Uh, lastly, let's talk about invasions. Um, so it is very similar to co-op, except it requires a few extra steps to unlock. You can leave a red summon sign using the duelist furls, furled finger, which is the red finger right here. Um, or use the small red effigy to send your PvP sign to the summoning pools, uh, the, the nearest one that's, that's active. Uh, lastly, you can use a festering bloody finger to attempt invasion of other players' worlds. Now, use this uh, sparingly because um, there's only so many around the world until you encounter the recusant finger at the Volcano Manor, which is uh, pretty much the invasion area. Uh, in the world. Uh, it is found much later in the game. I won't spoil it to you, but let's just say that it's very up north past the mage place. Um, anyway, uh, lastly, let's talk about the white cipher ring and the blue cipher ring. So if you're invaded, you can just activate this and you will activate the requests for an, a hunter to help you hunt the red phantom that has invaded your world. Uh, so the only reason the only way this would work if it's uh, a uh, if a player nearby has activated the blue cipher ring 
uh, which uh, answers the request for summoning from hunters. So these two things work together. You don't have to be nearby, actually. Anyone with the blue cipher ring within your your uh, your your soul level will answer the call. Uh, you can also lure in invaders with the taunter's tongue, and uh, you can write messages with the tarnished's wizened finger. I love writing messages, so this is one of the things that I I love doing in the game. Anyway, that is all. Uh, if you need any more help, feel free to leave a comment down below. I read and reply to all of my comments. And uh, I hope you have a great time engaging in jolly cooperation.